Right. Okay, so I see what's going on. Okay, here's a here's the original page here. And there is a style in your share.css on line 212 that determines the font sizes for your drop-down menus here, right? Um, which site am I looking at here? And I'll show you here. So inspect element and right down here. See this here? Shared line 212, uh, 14 pixels. That's what it should be applied. If I go to your site though, and I do the same thing, inspect element, right? Go to the LI here. All right, it doesn't show up. See the font size of 14 right there? For whatever reason, it's being overwritten by something else. Okay, and I don't know where it's coming from. See this here? This kicks back into gear here for some reason or another. It goes back up to the 16 pixels and takes on all that. So, in other words, these styles from right here, this is a line 212 I was talking about, are not being applied to your drop down menu. Right, now the code for your menu didn't come through the ticket system, so I copied it from the page and I found the problem. Uh, here's the original here. So we have the UL class up here and then the LI and all the bits and pieces. Okay. Now yours is all fine here until we get to this part right here where the submenu kicks in. Look what happens. An ID and a class have been added. Now this is something Expression Web has probably done for you. So what I'm going to add, it's done it for all of them. Okay. Not sure why, but what I'm going to get you to do is just open up your page, go to Code View. After this sector right here, the first UI tag... And, sorry, the first UL tag. Anything after this UL tag here doesn't require an ID or a class. Get rid of it all. So just go and boom, manually uh, strip that out. So do that, and that should solve the problem.